Hey guys, Gretchen's Vegan Bakery here with the short recipe only version of my newest creation for coconut layer cake. I did stray from the traditional and classic preparation this time by filling my cake with chocolate and I even used an orange scented buttercream for the icing. What a winning combination, let me tell you. Check out how to make it. So for the cake recipe, you will need flour, sugar, coconut milk, coconut oil, coconut yogurt, vegan butter, baking soda, baking powder, salt, egg replacer, some extracts, and that would be vanilla, coconut, and a hint of almond extract too. Oh, and some shredded coconut, of course. Now first get the coconut milk and the yogurt combined and add all the extracts to that. Then sift the dry ingredients together and the egg replacer that I'm using for this cake can go right into the dry ingredients. There's really no need to reconstitute this one. We are doing an alternating creaming method for this cake where you're going to cream the vegan butter and the sugar together until it's light and fluffy and then add the coconut oil. Now if you're not using coconut oil, don't worry, any vegetable oil will work here even if it's in liquid form. So next what you're going to do is add one third of the flour mixture followed by half of the liquid, another one third of the dry and then the other half of the liquid and then you're going to end up with the last addition of the dry ingredients. So add the shredded coconut in last and then just give it a good spin. Portion the batter evenly into greased and parchment lined cake pans and then get them into the oven. So next to prepare the buttercream icing and that is simply vegan butter and shortening whipped together with a pinch of salt, vanilla extract and then sifted confectioner sugar whipped to a fluffy smooth creamy icing. Now I'm adding orange zest and also the juice of one and a half oranges here. And if you like liqueur in your pastries, a little Grand Marnier would be amazing. As I mentioned in the beginning, I am adding a chocolate fudge filling to my cake this time. So to make the fudge filling, I'm not gonna go into that all right here. If you do wanna make it, you're just gonna grab the recipe with the full video tutorial at the link below. Actually, all of these recipes are going to be listed out for you on one neat page on my blog at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. So just click the links below and you'll get everything. If you are on the fence about the chocolate edition, watch to the end of this video for the reaction to tasting this amazing cake. But first to fill it up, ice it up, and then the entire outside with toasted coconut flakes. Um, okay, we're at the end of the video now. Wow, that was fast. Give my fork. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna taste this chocolate orange coconut cake and see what we think about it. So, dig in. Stop trying to grab the plate. You yeah, lost 25 pounds. No, you're gonna gain it all back doing this uh, again. This is terrible. <laughs> all right, mm. honestly, what do you think about the chocolate? I actually think it's really good. Mmm, mmm, I do too. All right? Mmm, I love chocolate and coconut. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. That is good. But what I did want to do, hold on, let me just grab this. Here's a little piece of just the coconut cake that I want to put just the buttercream on because I want you to taste it as if it would be just with the buttercream and see if it would be better. I like it with the chocolate. Yeah. Mm, but you do really taste that orange coming through the buttercream. You taste it more without the right more chocolate. without the chocolate, right? right. So if you guys, whoops. so if you guys are not a fan of chocolate in your stuff, then definitely leave it out, and you could just go all buttercream for a more classic coconut cake. But I think I really like that chocolate edition. I'm so glad that I did it. I almost think you have two different cakes, with it and without it. Yeah, definitely. Like, without the chocolate, it's like just pure, unadulterated, classic coconut cake. And some orange. And a little bit of orange yeah. coming through from in the buttercream. Unless you don't taste the orange in as much. That's right. Yep. Ooh, I like Very it. Good. All right, everybody. If you want to grab the recipe, click the links below, Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. And we'll see you guys again soon. Later. Let's keep eating this cake. <laughs> it's good, right? It is good. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm.
So yeah, if that wasn't proof that this flavor profile is a winning combination, I don't know what else to tell you. If you want to check out the full-length version of this video and recipe, just click the link below for that chaos. No, seriously, it's a lot of fun to be working with Jason again. So let me know your thoughts below of how you're liking these new videos and any ideas for what I should make next, too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more great videos, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Until then, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.